Hi everyone, welcome back to Caking at Midnight. Tonight I'm gonna to show you how to get the crackle effect on your sugar cookie, so let's get started. As always, don't forget to follow me on Instagram. It's at caking underscore at underscore midnight. And if you like the video this evening, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, hit that bell for notifications, and don't forget about that subscribe button. So to get started, you're not gonna need very many things, but you need to start with a raw cookie. So before you have cooked it is when you need to apply the food coloring. So my preferred brand is AmeriColor. I have bright white here that we're gonna use, but any color will work for this. Um, so just stick some in a little bowl. You're gonna need a paintbrush. And I have three cookies. So I'm gonna do three different thicknesses to kind of show you how they bake. Um, so these are just raw baked cookie, or unbaked cookies, and you're gonna take your paintbrush and paint on top of the cookie. Okay, so there's one. We'll make this one a little thicker. And this one will make really, really thin. Okay, so you have a medium thick and a thin one over here. Now, once you've got everything all painted, ready to go, go ahead and bake them as you usually would in your oven. I bake mine at 350 for 10 minutes, but whatever you do for your sugar cookie is good. So, pop them in the oven and then show you what they look like when they're done. So these have baked for 10 minutes in the oven at 350. Like I said, whatever temperature you bake your sugar cookies at is fine. It, they're all ready to go and you can tell the thickness of the paint that we use. So this one was really thin. And if that's the look you're going for, that's fine. I like a really good crackle, so a little bit more or the really thick one. On this one, you can still kind of see my brush strokes. Um, so just make sure it's, it's really flat or use a wider brush. But you're all set, ready to go to write whatever you want on the top of it when you decorate. And there's nothing you need to flood on these. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's a really simple way to get a neat look on your cookie. So. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the comment section down below. This is Allison and happy caking.